talk us through the race from your point of view. Uh, the race was tough. Uh, you know, the, the the strength and depth in the men's wheelchair racing is getting better and stronger, and uh, everyone's getting fitter and faster. And um, uh, I knew my, on the start line, Marcel will probably be the one to to watch. And he was strong all through the course. There was not one bit where he was weak. Um, so I knew it had come down to a, to a sprint finish at the end, but I just didn't have nothing in the tank. It's an incredible thing to take on Boston and London back to back, one week apart. Six days apart. How fit do you have to be to compete at the highest level now? Uh, you have to be super fit. You have to be on the ball in training as well. You have to make sure you cover every scenario. Um, Boston didn't go too well to me, for me, but a lot of the guys said that when you do your first Boston, that, that usually happens. So um, uh, it was a good learning curve. And actually, it probably blew out all the cobwebs ready for, for this race. So um, this course suits me a lot better. and. Uh, you know, more technical courses do and the rough ground and everything else. So um, it was it was all right. Uh, obviously looking ahead to Rio now, how has this set you up for a summer on the track? Yeah, so sit down with my team and decide what I want to do in Rio and, and then decide the next phase of training and get ready for Rio.